All right, hi guys, so my name is Max. Um, I'm one of the SIs for Dr. Maduro's 5A class. And today I'm just gonna be going over one of the sample problems from um, one of the sample finals that Dr. Maduro gave you guys. And this is just gonna be a quick one and I'm just gonna go over this one um, question. All right, so if we're looking at this question, and so this would fall under the category of genetic analysis, right? And so we are given that there's three polymorphism patterns. So there's a white one, a black one, and a gray one. Um, the parents are at the top, um, denoted with the square and the circle, right? So we can label them here. So this would be the parents. Um, and then anything in here, this would be the um, polymorphism patterns with the chromosomes, with the rest of the chromosomes. And then the children would be down here. Okay. And so we're asked, um, assuming the normal rules, which is not possible, or which of the children's inher inheritance patterns is not possible. Right, so we can classify these into different situations. So let's call this first one, situation one. And let me, just write it underneath. Okay, so let's look at one over here in a bit more depth, right? And so what this is showing us is we have two chromosomes, right? Half of it's gray, half of it's white, and I'll try to keep them constant throughout. Um, I'll just use black and gr black gray, and then a lighter gray. So. We have one chromosome, it's showing that half of it is gray, and then another half is this like other gray color, and then the last half of it is a slightly lighter color, right? And hopefully that still comes out on the video. Um, next we have this other color, so that one is black in the top like quarter of it, and then the rest of it is that darker gray color, Right, and so we have this, and then we have that thing over here, right? So if we're thinking about this, how would it be possible for us to get from the parents, right, which are a singular white and a singular gray, and a singular gray to singular black to what we have over here, right? So the one on the left, this is definitely possible if I'm looking at the parents on the left. And the square, remember, this refers to the dad or the father. And so in the father, we have that one chromosome. Let me draw this out over here. So the father has one chromosome, right? Dark gray. And then he has a lighter gray one or the white one, which I'm just drawing as a lighter gray in our case. So what and how this works is if I do, um, you know, when the homologous chromosomes align at meiosis, I can switch out certain parts for each other. So this chromosome could definitely have gotten this portion in the box into here, right? We swap them out and you end up with um, this chromosome on the left, right? Where the bottom like quarter of this, of the darker gray chromosome is now that lighter color, which we see over here, right, that I, that I shaded in. Okay, and so that works for the left one. And if I'm looking at the right chromosome, now I'm thinking about the um, father, right, sorry, the mother. And remember that we need one from the father, one from the mother. So to get the right chromosome, we have the darker gray on the left. I'm gonna draw that over here. And then we have the black one on the right. Okay, and so similarly, um, we can think about how I can easily swap out these two top halves for each other, right? And then I end up with um, that chromosome over there. So situation one, um, or at least child one, adds up for us, right? So this one, anything that situation one has with regards to the question, um, is possible, right? And we're asked for not possible. So anything that has one, I'm going to eliminate.
and that really that lives that leaves us with two and three and so if i'm looking at two let's make this one um this like pinkish color so the situation two right So if I'm looking at situation two, I have the same set where I have a dark gray and a light gray. So I have a darker gray one on the right. I have the white, and in this case, the lighter gray on the right side, right? And so how did this happen? So we know that this lighter gray color could have come from the mother or the lighter gray has to come from the father, right? Because we you know that's the only one that has it. And so with regards to this, um, let me just draw the father's genotype over here. So the father has a lighter gray and a darker gray, right? And so simply we know that the father isn't giving both of these chromosomes, it's only giving one, right? because you know that wouldn't work so we take this chromosome over here in its entirety um and pretty much we give it to the child right so that's kind of what happened with situation two um with situation three how this one worked is that we have um the lighter the darker gray right and if i'm looking at the mother now which will be here on the right again, in the same fashion. Um, we have the darker gray, then we have the black one. And so again, um, if we just focus on the inheritance pattern here, we already have the lighter gray, so we need the darker gray one. And without any recombination um, during meiosis or anything like that, um, the mother can donate that way. And so I can, yeah, so that would work. And so situation two also checks out. And so anything that situation two, we can say is not the correct answer. So this leaves us with situation three. And let's go and explain why, right? So D, situation three would be our answer. So let's go and figure out why situation three is not possible. So in situation three, that I'll draw over here in the bottom right. Um, I have a dark gray chromosome, and then I have half of a black one and half of a white one, or at least kind of half, two thirds maybe, and the lighter gray. Okay. So how did this happen, right? This darker gray could definitely could definitely come from either the father or the mother. Um, for now, let's call it from the um, father, right? And so the, remember the father's genotype, he has half of this light gray, half of it is dark gray. Simply take, you know, this, this chromosome, donates it to his child, right? So that works. The issue now comes with this other chromosome here where half of this is what I call this one maternal, right? Because we know it's from the mother, but we know this lighter gray chromosome, which acts as our white chromosome here in our example, is only from the father. So this is paternal. So the issue here is that once um, we have a zygote, right, and this is going back to the individuals like after fertilization, once we have the zygote, there is no more crossing over. So this would not happen, right? Um, a crossing over would happen within the mother, within the father, with their gametes. However, it wouldn't happen um, in the zygote, because once we get to the zygote, we now do mitosis the whole time. And so that wouldn't work, right? So um, that is the reason why we cannot have half of a chromosome that's maternal, half of that's paternal, right? Situation one showed us 
where we have half of it, yes, they're not all the same, but that's because they do crossing over um, in the mother and in the father independently. All right, so hopefully that made sense to you guys. And if you have any other questions, please go ahead and um, talk to your SI about it. And good luck on your final.